Mighty saws are one of the most useful saws that you can get, but they are mainly made for cutting large items. However, if you make a jig, you can actually cut small items on them quite safely. That then means that your mighty saw is a lot more useful than what it would be normally. Cutting a piece of aluminium like this at home can be very difficult. That is 10 millimeters thick and holding something like this on a mighty saw is a terrible idea because you can't actually clamp it down. We're actually going to make a jig. This is a piece of inch thick plywood and I've put a slit in that already using the mighty saw. The Rage 3 sliding mighty saw can be used to cut wood, metal or plastic all with the same blade. So cutting aluminium like this is not a problem. So I'm going to align the cut mark with the dead centre of the mark that I've just cut on the saw. And then I'm going to screw that down using some wood screws. That will mean that the aluminium cannot move under any circumstances. And then we're going to clamp the piece of timber down to the bed of the machine. So I'm just going to use some regular wood screws and some washers to hold the aluminium down. So that is now firmly fixed and you will notice that I've actually butted that straight up to the edge of the timber and then that will hit the fence at the back of the mitre saw. So I've just put that on there and I've made it the same size as the bed but we just need to pull it down and check that it's in the correct position which it is. So now we're just going to tighten up the clamp on the mitre saw. I do apologise for the background noise. I am having the hedge cut at the front of the house. I'm now going to put some ear defenders on and a full face visor before we do this cut in the aluminium. So we've now got it cut in that direction. We now need to turn it the other way. You can do me a massive favor by clicking the subscribe button, then the bell icon to receive notifications. If you can also like and share the video, that would be fantastic as it really helps me out. So again, I'm gonna align the cut line with the dead center of the cut line on the wood. And I'm going to ensure that that is flush at the front there so that we use the fence on the saw. And then the other one can go right behind that. And we can cut through both pieces at the same time. So as you can see, we've now got four pieces of aluminium, which are exactly the same size. So now we're just gonna cut that corner off to make it a little bit neater. And then I've just got some scrap pieces of wood, which I've drilled some holes in. So I'm now going to align that line with the line in the piece of timber. And then I'm gonna use these pieces of wood and I'm going to screw those down in position like so. So basically we're making a jig. So 
So again, we need to ensure it's in the correct position. Then clamp that down. You can see that we've cut the aluminium into four pieces and we've done that quickly and safely. I have made a couple more jigs for this saw, I will put the links to that in the description. I'm now working on a more permanent jig made by aluminium extrusion and this is going to use clamps like so with T-slots. So that should make it a lot easier when you need to cut any small items such as that nut there. You can hold things like that quite safely providing you have the correct jig. Obviously with this I will have to make a fence for the back of it etc because we do have a large hole at the back there.